Hey, what is going on, guys? It's the Gamer Pro Wars, known as GPN, and today's video, I'm bringing you guys the best class setup for the Pharaoh. Now, when the game came out, this gun was a god. This used to melt people, just how the fire rate was good, the damage was good, but now, when I use it, I just feel like the gun is just shooting nerf bullets. I really feel like I'm not doing as much damage as I used to, and the gun just, like, it just died out for me. Like, it really isn't as powerful as I thought, and not, I don't see a lot of people using it. I see people using the VMP, the CUDA, the Razorback, but back then, and back with like when the game first came out, people used this gun a lot, but I think it just got a massive nerf and then people just stopped using it. Now this gun is a four round auto burst submachine gun, which means you can just hold down the trigger and it'll just keep shooting four bursts, four bursts at its highest fire rate, and so just keep clicking the tr trigger, which is actually pretty good. Now let's get into the attachments. The first one we have here is fast mags. Now I don't know why, but with every single submachine gun, I just love using fast mags just because in less than a second, I have my clip out and clip in and I can shoot the other enemy that's, that's shooting at me. And I'd like to use this also on assault rifles, but I feel like it's more beneficial using on submachine guns. And I definitely, on this gun, and I could say most of the submachine guns, it's very helpful. Plus, who doesn't want an attachment that can decrease your reload time? Now, second attachment we have here is rapid fire, so you can increase your fire rate and increase your time to kill, just because if you don't know what that means, it means you kill your enemies a lot faster than usual. And this gun with rapid fire is pretty much almost automatic. Now, the third attachment we have here is extended mags. Now, why not raise the bullets in your magazine from 40 to 56? It's gonna be super beneficial for you guys because since you have rapid fire, you're gonna be blurting out those bullets really fast and you're gonna be, have to be reloading a lot. So extended mags ties in with fast mags and rapid fire. So now you pretty much reload faster, shoot faster, and have a bigger magazine. And to end it off with the fourth attachment is going to be laser sight. Now this attachment is very, very crucial just because if a guy comes at you, shooting at you through a doorway and you don't know what to do and you're just spraying everywhere, that laser sight will help you with your hip fire spread and with your aim just if he like comes at you and they don't know what to do and you just, just spray everywhere and you have a better chance about hip firing him and actually killing him. Now no secondaries or lethals because again I really don't like using them. I feel like they're useless to me. I, I probably the only thing I use is the Semtex but that's on like an LMG class or an assault rifle class. But what's surprising is I don't have a tactical because I decided to take out a tactical and put on a laser sight just because I feel like it's going to be better for me to use if I play those objective game modes for example like Domination or Uplink. Now perk 1 is going to be Afterburner because I love how you can just thrust jump super far and you can recharge your boosters a lot faster. I really don't feel like Flag Jacket should be on this class just because you're going to be killing people super fast with the Pharaoh and they're not going to have enough time to throw a grenade but if you guys don't like Afterburner and you really can't stand that perk you can always just switch it out for Flag jacket if you really want to. Now for perk 2 it's going to be scavenger just because with rapid fire you're going to be dumping out those bullets plus you're never going to know when you're going to be on a 20 kill streak and the worst thing that can happen is you running out of ammo. That's happened to me so many times especially when I'm just in the beginning of a prestige and I didn't have scavenger and it was just a pain in the ass trying to grind it. Now for the third perk it's going to be tactical mask because I hate getting concussion grenades, or shock charges or anything. It's so annoying. It's the worst thing that can ever happen to you because it disorients your screen. It makes your aim all blurry. You can't even turn around if like for example if a guy throws a concussion grenade and he's behind you there's no way you're winning that gunfight because it's literally like your sensitive on one and if you don't have tactical mask it's pretty much a guaranteed death but anyways guys the specialist really doesn't matter you can use whatever you like I'm just right now going for gold hero gear I'm still trying to go for it it is really really hard but you know I'm going through it. I'm trying to do my best with fire break I'm almost to it but not quite so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you're new thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video tomorrow peace out